All right, once, once you've got any reinforcements you may want to add, um, the cockpits are super simple to install. Okay, how we do our inserts, when you, your insert will come looking like this. Uh, the deeper part goes towards the front, that's where the, per, the pilot's feet will go. Anyway, there's a, just a slight bit of difference between the front cockpit and the rear cockpit. On the front cockpit, you're, um, these sides are going to be cut at 4 and 3 sixteenths from the back up forward. I would go just a tad over that and work my way back um, to the three, uh, 4 and 3 sixteenths. These sides are just a tad wide. I made them that way on purpose. Um, the, the front's a little bit closer, so I'd leave as much as I can up to the edge to start off with and just have to round your edges as you cut them. And um, then on the front, you can see once we cut down here, wherever you cut this back to, you're going to angle it down. And um, let's see here. When you, uh, you're going to actually take off about three six, uh, uh, three eighths of an inch coming down and across. This allows it to slide in place. You can see this just, just pops right in and, th and that, that's in place. What we'll do, what we will do is end up gluing this in and then the, um, the other piece will be glued directly to the top of that later. Okay, on the rear one, cockpit, the uh, flange here is cut at four and nine sixteenths. Like I said, go a little bit further and work your way back. Um, we're still gonna uh, cut down at an angle. You can, it's about, like I said, it's about three eighths of an inch. I've cut this a little bit more square. Now, these flanges are a little, just a tad shallower, so you need to leave, leave as much as you can and work your way in, okay? But um, that, this one fits just, a, um, it gets it tapers towards the back, but I, I left this um, narrow enough that it goes in between there. It just slides in and it kind of presses in place. But the four and nine sixteenths is what I have mine cut at, all right? Uh, you also uh, get a seat. It, uh, you, you can see it on the, on the, um, the ABS. It's pretty explanatory where to cut it out. Um, there was no lip on this one. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go ahead and supply um, cushions that will go in here. If you're not going to use a pilot, they have pretty thick cushions. And I'm going to um, pull something out of ABS to put down in here. So in case you're not going to use a pilot, that you can put those in place. But that just comes in here and that would glue to the floor and to the back. And you have one for the front also. And it just goes in place. Um, I, I still have to finish these. You have uh, two, uh, two cockpit sides. Um, there, there's your throttle body that, uh, that you have your throttle. Uh, there was also a flap control in here and, um, and uh, I guess a mixture control. Um, I, there will be some um, gauges supply that you can put uh, in place here. Uh, you just have to, uh, let me see, I've got one that's, that's kind of finished here. The only thing I found out that you have to do is, now these are all solid resin pieces, is that you have to be careful and file this up at a corner, on your corners just a little bit. On the rear one, the back on, on, the, on the rear cockpit, you don't have to do the back side, but you do have to do the front side, so it will lay in place. And this will end up being glued right in there. And then the rear one on this side, you have to flange it up and it will glue on this side. Now, the only thing I want to show you is that there are holes here. Those are for the, um, uh, like I use toothpicks, the ends of toothpicks, which will be supplied to kit. These will allow you to put those in. And these uh, um, kind of make your toggle, well, you can see one here. I haven't got it glued in well. I just cut the ends of them off and they, they go in those holes and you just glue them as you put them in and that makes your toggle switches. Um, but anyway, this will be glued on this side. Um, you'll have the same thing. I still have to put my uh, throttle controls on here. I haven't got to that far yet. Uh, on the, let's see, got all those in place. The only thing I have left to install there is the, co is the joystick itself. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. It'd it just be uh, hooked in probably have to drill your hole through the bottom of the uh, of the insert to allow that to come through. Um, anyway, I'm going to check on a couple of things, see if there's anything else I um, have missed, 
and then we'll finish up the video. Okay, just a couple more things I wanted to show you real quick. Uh, I finished up the joystick. Um, you just have to paint those and install those uh, where you feel you need to. You can cut these off. You can um, cut these or angle these to where they'll fit um, into the cockpit where you want. Uh, if you, in, in case you're, um, like I said, you're not doing a um, putting a pilot in, you can install these and you can wherever you figure you want to put them. You can. Uh, drill you a small hole and put you a piece of uh, wood on the back side to help secure that and, and, and make that secure on the inside. Uh, other thing I want to show you real quick was um, on this is the throttle control and then um, I'm not sure it was either a mixture control or something. Anyway, all this is made uh, out of um, two pieces of wood. Uh, that's a 1 8 and I think this is um, 3 16 I don't think it's a quarter but it, either way it'll be included in your kit. Um, what you have to do is, uh, I'll include enough that you can um, cut it and then reduce it down to size. But you just take a piece of wood and you drill a 16th inch hole and then come back in there and drill an 8th inch. I do the 16th to get my pilot hole going. And then drill the 8th inch in and insert the, this, this other stick, the 8th uh, inch piece into the handle itself. And then you just sand these to uh, until they're, they're rounded on the edges. And then you come in here to the... Um, control itself and just drill an eighth inch hole which allows you to stick this in place. It's, just, it's really simple. And that gives you your throttle control. Um, this other little handle here I will include uh, pins. I also include uh, small pieces of um, aluminum. All you have to do to make that is just slide this on. Um, I, I've got a pair of pliers here and all you have to do is um, crimp this just don't crimp it super hard, you'll, you'll end up breaking. But anyway, crimp it, and I take the whip, this is about a quarter inch wide, and I bend it over. Okay, now you need to, um, you can drill a small hole. I use a, uh, a, a 3 64 inch drill and drill a hole back here, and this one was bent over, so, so it'll clear the throttle handle. Anyway, um, I, cut, I come here and I, I clip this off and glue it down into the... Um, down into, into the throttle. Anyway, that more or less finishes that up. Uh, before you glue it in, you need to rough up the back edge a little bit. Just uh, all you need to use is a um, like a hundred grit paper, just rough it up, rough it around the edges to glue it in place. Uh, probably use some um, uh, five minute epoxy will be fine. Uh, but they're they're both made the same way. Um, I, th I believe that's about everything that's, that's going in this cockpit kit. Like I said, it's available through v VQ Warbirds. It's um, from uh, me at tiesplanes.com. Uh, if you have any uh, issues or any problems, you can always feel uh, Tom Tomas can get you in touch with me. Um, it makes the plane look really nice. Um, you know, a lot of these had a light gray. If you decide to go with light gray, just make sure you cover up your instrument panels here and, and paint the whole thing the light gray, which would be nice also. Um, like I said, I hope this helps. Makes the plane look really good, and um, hope you have a good day.